Pelvica chromis tenaceous Nigerian red. That is what we are looking at right now. And he is moving. The he has the terrible face makeup that looks like uh, Fr Dr. Frankenfurter or Mimi from the Drew Carey show. And what we're going to talk about today is science. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about science and talk about how she's doing a mating dance. And she will crook her body and you see that she has purple light. Uh, when we're, we're down low, it looks golden. From other angles, it looks purple, her flesh up top there. And then she'll do this shutter shake thing. But it's very interesting. You see that gold. When the sun was setting in the house or low on the horizon, I was able to see that gold from across the room, and it almost blinded me. And I wanted to talk to you today about that. So that gold that you see that she's changing colors and you see the gold by her ear that looks kind of green. The reason we're seeing that right now we are looking at them underneath white light and we're seeing that reflection because it's just reflecting straight off of her. But the from above there's little teeny crystals under her skin that bounce the light off at an angle. And so those are the same, that golden color is the same tint that you would see on polarized UV glasses. And they found out the University of Miami, uh, or University of Florida uh, Oceanographic Research found out that fish that have this property of turning that gold or silver on, on top of the already shiny glimmering color that fish often have and now they're eating my nice plants thanks guys they're eating the of course they're eating the new red buds off of my plants uh but you can see that purple turning into gold like crazy up by the light so what that is is it's scattering all of the uv rays coming in and they found under uv light cameras that that they can actually when the light comes in and hits it it causes it to shimmer in every direction. And when you look on other fish, like this kind of fish, like a, a guppy, it may have a little bit of color change in it, if we can get it to, to glimmer in the light. Uh, it may have some color change in it, but that's just the one color uh, turning like a blue or a green. And they're within the same spectrum. They're not completely separate colors. Like purple to gold is a very odd color to share, right, in a palette. And right now they're kind of doing this like, are we going to get along? Are we going to mate? Are we going to find a home together? And she's trying to entice him and he's trying to decide what he's going to do. Once one of them takes up a fort, which they hopefully should soon see, he's moving sand. That's preparing nests. And there's two nests and I hope I haven't confused them by doing that. But I wanted you to see this dance, and then I wanted to talk more about this shimmer. So in 2008, the University of Tel Aviv ended up doing some research, and they found that the way that fish shimmer is because of, for sure, it's because of guanine crystals. And that's in a, um, it's in the protoplasm of the cells, and they're these very teeny cells. And when a fish is developing, it takes an immense amount of energy to have these cells grow. And just like you and I, you know, when we grow, it takes energy. When we move, it takes energy. But pigment takes a lot of energy because it's concentrating different surface textures to reflect light or substances to reflect light into different areas. And so it's often a change in the body structurally. And they found out, looking under a microscope, that every single little reflective spot on a scale is actually guanine crystals surrounded by this cytosine, which is like a gel. And it reflects light. And so the gel acts like a prism and a magnifier. And it turns out that those guanine crystals have to form in a dry vacuum. So like a vacuum of space type vacuum. And then they build in a specific design and every fish, or not every fish, but there are many different patterns of crystals, just like there's different cuts of diamond rings uh, that develop in the fish world. And so these fish apparently are from murkier waters. They have clear streams that run into murkier big rivers and lakes. 
and they probably have a lot of filtered UV light reflecting off of little swimming fish. And little swimming fish have one set of guanine crystals in their cells that are also made in a vacuum, but they actually, uh, their strategy is they swim together and there's a bunch of ding, 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 a light shining all over the place. And that makes them harder to catch by predators. But they also still need their color to attract the mates and to give cues of when things are ready. When they brighten up, it's a way to show that they're, they're healthy, their metabolism's working, their immune system's working, and they're ready to mate. And that's why they do these dances too. It shows the stamina, it shows the energy that's in their bodies, and it shows that they're healthy generally. So the female... Nigerian red though that you saw that wonderful display and I'm glad she came out for that because I've been waiting and I've made this video a couple different times hoping she'll do it um, she has actually two to three different sets of those vacuum chambers in her body of crystals and then they get filled with cytoplasm which is the same stuff that's the goo in between cells so you know how a cell has a nucleus and it has ribosomes and it has all sorts of different organelles in there that make a cell function if you remember school animal cells and they have a cell membrane not a cell wall all that stuff in between is is protoplasm or cytoplasm um whatever you want to call it uh there's some other names for it too depending on this the the animal that it's in but that is surrounding the guanine crystals, and it floods the chamber and acts as a prism. And now she has this beautiful coloring of light, and you can see that gold. And if she's not just at that angle, it's purple. So her real color of pigment is purple. She has a silvery sheen or iridescent sheen from guanine, and then she has a third row of crystals in the scales. You can see there it turns off when the light's not hitting it. But what that does is that's a polarized light. And so just like we see in glasses that yellow tint or that blue tint with the kind of weird metallic sheen, we can't see UV light as humans. What we see is uh, the surface that it's reflected off of. And that's true with most light. We see the surface and what we're seeing is a lack of other colors and we're seeing the wavelengths that come through to our eye. Well, with this, she, if you look at it under a UV camera, has scattered that light everywhere. And so fish oftentimes see different spectrums of light than we do. It's how they see little microscopic things as the light reflecting off of them. And it's how they see each other, and it's how they see different patterns on their skin. So all fish, like maybe they're little silver fish, and they all look the same to us. To them, they may have very different patterns because of the way their scales are aligned and things. But so that light is coming in and it's shining off in every direction and it makes an orb that when the ripples in the water are, are reflecting and you know how you see light dancing like over here on, on the book the bookcase you can see if i splash a little bit the the reflectivity of light well she's doing that with her own body sorry i'm not feeding you she thinks i'm feeding her now um she does that with her own body and that light also catches the male's attention but in those murky waters it's like a cloaking shield. So if you've enjoyed this, if you've enjoyed learning about this, please uh, subscribe to The Secret History Living Inside of Your Aquarium. Uh, we do lots of cool things on this channel. Uh, I'm trying to grow it all the time. Please give it a like and a thumbs up if you learned something today. If you want to help me, I've got a microscope and CO2 and all sorts of interesting things now. We've got several tanks of lots of interesting organisms and all of this is possible because of you guys. Even subscribing a dollar on Patreon, it then makes you eligible to get fry from any of my fish. So if this lovely man here, uh, after he's done eating all my snails, if he decides that he's going to mate with that beautiful female that we saw earlier, uh, those fry will be up for sale, and some will be given away to the higher tier Patreons. People who are backing over 5 or $10, I'll decide later. Um, I'm going to give away the fry with just shipping uh, being the only cost. He is making a nest. I made a video on how to make a nest recently for them, and it worked out great. He's also buried uh, sand up to the very edge, and he's working on uh, storing it 
it in his gullet here and then he spits it out and I don't know what rhyme or reason there is to it but he also moved all the fine sand away from here uh, so if you want to follow the bizarre behavior and beautiful behavior of these fish and keep learning why are they doing that not just hey look my fish are doing this why did they chew off only the buds of my beautiful plants why why did you do that um, and why <laughs> was she chewing off just the top of those plants uh, there's reasons for it all and we're gonna look into that on this channel so keep tuned please comment you know interact with me if you have any feedback or anything interesting to add or if I got something wrong of course I'm gonna get things wrong I'm only human and I'm not a fish expert I'm learning as I go as I'm intrigued um, and I've been a hobbyist for years but not an expert so uh, lastly thank you I hope you enjoy this as much as I do look for the little magical things in life and this is Alexander Williamson telling you to take care of each other take care of your fish and keep on swimming, guys. I'll talk to you next time.